Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to color ribbon. Um, it, I often find that there's not always a ribbon that I have in stock that's the color that I need to use for the card that I'm using. Stampin' Up! carries a lot of color for sure in ribbon, but sometimes they just don't have the color. I don't buy all the colors and sometimes they don't have the color I want. So I've played around many different ways of coloring ribbon and I'm going to show you all the variations that I found so that way you can have ribbon always in stock whatever color you want. So I usually always try to keep a large amount of white or very vanilla ribbon in stock. Um, that way you can have whatever color that you want. Okay, so I'm going to show you different ways to color it. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a piece, this is actually very vanilla because um, I was making a card and I used the very vanilla and then I thought, oh, it needs more color, but I didn't have the color that they wanted. So I thought, all right. So I use, I'm gonna use this uh, Stampin' Pad right here. Just gonna open it up. Now for this here, if you've got, um, you can use like a baggie or a plastic glove. Um, you, you need something to protect your fingers from getting the ink on it. So, like I, so there's lots of different things you can do. I always keep the papers from the stamp sets as well. They're, they're like got a waxy finish. So I find these work really well. So if all I do here is I'm just gonna put the ribbon down on top of the ink pad. I'm gonna hold this and I'm going to drag the ribbon through. So you can see already that it's changing color really nice. If I want to, I can just leave it as such. If I want it to, to go darker, then I can go darker as well. Because I started here at this end, pressing a little bit harder, and then as I swiped it through, not as dark. So I want this to be a consistent color. So I'm just gonna run it through the ink pad again. And then we'll just do that again. So there you go. So there's one color ribbon already. So then we'll move on. And put, use this here for coloring. So if I just take a piece of this white ribbon here, this is crinkled ribbon, so it's kind of got like a unique little design to it. So now I'm just gonna use the Stampin' Blend and I'm gonna use the, uh, the end with a larger brush and then I'm just going to run it across like that. So simple. And then you've got another ribbon. You don't even have to do the other side. It just it bleeds right through perfectly and it just takes minutes to dry when I do it like this here by the time I'm done this video all these ribbons will be dry okay so that's using a Stampin' Blend if you have now I showed you an ink pad already um, but if you if you have uh, sponges or fin finger dabbers then you can use that to ink up your ribbon so I'll just put this down I'm going to use the specific point and I'm just going to I always start in the middle it's probably not a good idea to start in the middle I wonder why I do that but okay so just run that through and then you can keep adding to make it as dark as you want or um, as light as you want you can do this one here it doesn't bleed through quite as much so you can do the back if you want but it, sometimes it's kind of like a little two-tone so that when you're tying your bows, you've got like a two-tone color. So there you go. So there's another way of coloring a ribbon. The next one is I'm gonna use a spritzer. With the spritzer, um, I just put in some rubbing alcohol and then some of the reinkers. So I have, this is Gorgeous Grape. So I put in some rubbing alcohol, I've been using this. So I put in the rubbing alcohol, depends. I don't fill these up a lot, so I fill it up. And then I use, this here was just one drop of reinker. Okay, so you wanna mix it up really well. Now, I'm gonna use this ribbon right here. I'm gonna put it in the tray to save everything. And I'm just, whoops, take that out. I'm gonna spray it. Now, because it's alcohol, it will dry fairly quickly. And then it just depends on the intensity of uh, the purple that you want. How, if you want it darker, you can always add another uh, drop of reinker into your alcohol. 
Okay, so there's that. Clean out this tray. So we can go on. Using the same idea, if I use the re-inker, and if I just put a couple of drops in here, and if I use a paintbrush, then I can take some more ribbon, and then I can just dip in my brush, and I can just paint it with a re-inker. So, again, another way to do it. So there's really no reason why you cannot have every color ribbon under the sun this way. Okay, so I'll get my brush, clean this brush, because I'm gonna need it again. I can just keep using, if I clean this brush, I can use it over and over. Okay. And I will clean this out. Then the next color I'm going to do is soft sea foam. So it's just a very, very subtle color. And then uh, I added a couple uh, uh, reinker drops with this one because I just wanted a little bit darker color. And you can see it's very subtle see it more when you put it on the paper. So I can use, I use the same ribbon and the brush just to show you how the Intensity changes. The next step now is I'm going to use the shimmer paint. Um, this here is the uh, champagne. So I'm just going to shake it up to make sure I mix the colors up. And then again, I'm just going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to paint the uh, shimmer onto the ribbon. This doesn't really give it a color, but what it does do is it gives it a beautiful little shimmer to the ribbon and it's just so very, very pretty. You can see there, it's, it's so hard to see here, but there is a shimmer to that and it really does add a nice touch to your cards to have that little bit of sparkle. And yeah, I'm trying to get you to see, you can see a little bit there, the shimmer. And so there you can see I gave you a few samples of how to decorate it. So whether you're using an ink pad and just uh, swiping the ribbon through or using a finger dabber or a sponge to sponge the color on. Uh, you can use the, the alcohol and the re-inkers to spray it on or you can use champagne mist to give it a little bit of shine. There's lots of ways to do it. The possibilities are endless. I'm so glad you could join me today. I hope you learned something. Thank you.